Hi everyone, welcome back and today we will continue our experiment. Today we will have experiment about inductance. Let's start it. First, the aim of this study are to identify the ideal and non-ideal inductor, to identify the RLC series and parallel circuit, and to determine the value of inductance inductor. Before that, you have to understand the basic theory of uh, this topic. You have to learn about the relation between voltage, current, and electrical impedance. And also, you have to learn about the capacitive reactance, impedance, inductive reactance, and then from three parameters, we will get the inductance. And also, you have learned about the effective current. In this slide, you will see about the formula of this topic. Moreover, at the resonant condition, you have to learn also about the maximum current and also you have to pay attention to the relation between C, L, and Omega. You can see the formula of the effective current in this slide and also the minimum current and the relation between C, L, and Omega. Please open your book and read again so you will easily to understand about uh, this condition. Move to material and tool, I will show you our equipment in our laboratory. This is the power supply and this is the ampere meter here. This is the, un the analog ampere meter and we have the multimeter here. This is the digital multimeter here and also we have the variable non-polar capacitor circuit and this is the inductor and we have LRC circuit and the last we have the cable connector for our experiment move to the experiment procedure we have several uh, experiment first we will determine the inductor resistance first you have to set the multimeter to ohm meter mode like this and then take the cable and connect to the black box uh, inductor connect like uh, the video and then look into ohm meter you will get the resistance of uh, this inductor don't forget uh, to do this process two time or three time and record to the dat data book after that please turn off the multimeter and move to the second experiment For our second experiment, we will do inductor and resistor in series. Here, you have to take the cable connector and then LR circuit and also ampere meter here. And you have to connect for each point. In the right up corner, you can see the schematic figure of uh, this experiment. You have to follow uh, this step and connect for each cable connector to each point, and then you will measure the inductor and resistor in series. Please don't turn on uh, the power supply before you check and make sure that this is the right circuit and connection look 
into the video for more detail. After you success to build this uh, setup and then turn on the power supply and look into multimeter here don't forget to write and record the current that measure from this uh, connection do this process two time or three time after you finish for this step don't forget turn off the power supply and pull out of each cable connector for our third experiment we will build the inductor resistance and capacitor in series in the right up corner there is uh, the schematic figure of this setup you have to follow this step and in this experiment we will use the non-polar capacitor so by using the cable connector you have to connect to each point and for more detail please look clearly in the video don't forget turn off the power supply before you check and make sure that this is the right uh, connection this is the final setup and then turn on the power supply and you have to see in the ampere meter and move the non-polar uh, button to each uh, position for one position you have record from the current that measure in the ampere meter do for the two button of the non-polar capacitor don't forget record and look clearly in the ampere meter for its position of the non-polar capacitor look to the video carefully For our fourth experiment, we will build the inductor, resistor, and capacitor in parallel. In the left bottom corner, you will see the schematic setup of this experiment. Please follow the figure so you will easily uh, build the setup for this process. Don't forget, in the fourth experiment we will build in parallel not in series please look careful to this video After you success to build this setup, turn on the power supply and then move the button of the non-polar capacitor for each point and then look into ampere meter. What happened with the needle of the ampere meter? Don't forget to record the current that measure by using the ampere meter for each position.
after you finish this step don't forget to take out and pull out the cable for each point return all of the equipment to the storage before you leave the laboratory i hope you understand for all of our experiment today before i close this video i will inform you the data for this experiment that is this is the data that you have to find for our experiment today and also this is the task that you have to put in the discussion section of our experiment report there are five tasks that you have to complete okay good luck and i hope you enjoy this video see you